Kerbal Space Program. This is a rocket building game. This is quite a step up from building bridges, but it seems that my engineering reputation is high enough that I can be trusted with building rockets. So yeah, I've been avoiding this game for a while because I was under the impression that this was just a sandbox game and there wasn't much of a goal to anything. But it turns out there's a career mode with a bunch of objectives along the way to kind of lead you in a bit of a story where basically you get progressively better and better at the game in a clear and steady pacing, I would say. So I'm definitely going to check it out. Uh, we're gonna play that today. I've only seen a couple YouTube videos of it. I know there's training here, but I'm not entirely sure how good of YouTube content this will make. So what I think I'm just gonna do is I'm going to just start a new career, and if I need to, I will reference the training, not on video, uh, just because I should be able to figure that stuff out, and I don't think it would make the best content. So, a uh, career, uh, probably normal difficulty, let's be real. There is only one name that makes sense. So let's get that started. Here's a little area. Let me figure out the controls. This is how I move. This is how I rotate. Got it. Great. So the majority of the career objectives, I believe, are situated at mission control. This is the arc of our career. Basically, it's a bunch of different missions that will get progressively harder, I guess, and reward you with more and more money, which is situated up here. A big part of winning is obtaining a lot of money and obtaining a lot of science up here. Although these are just resources, they aren't, they're indirectly correlated with doing well. So we have missions here, which basically launch a vessel, gather scientific data, and that will all make sense eventually. But what I'm going to do is hop out and then over here at R&D, this is the tech tree of upgrades. And this might seem overwhelming, but basically what people consider as beating this game is unlocking every single one of these upgrades. You start with so few upgrades compared to the ones you unlock. I, I would assume that this game does not overwhelm you with how quickly they introduce new upgrades. So I imagine most of this stuff won't even be relevant, but I'm just letting you guys know that right now, the overall arc or the overall goal for me is going to be obtaining every single one of these upgrades and completing missions along the way. So back to mission control, now that we know all of that, we're going to accept a couple missions to gather scientific data. So I'm definitely going to accept that. And then launching a vessel should be a good goal. Basically just launching a little spaceship. So now that we have that accepted, now we can swiftly get to the building. Now here's where the juice happens. This is where we actually build our rockets. And let's see, Werner von Kerman. I'll talk to you in some other time, but let's see if we can build this right now. So over here, we have a bunch of different types of material. Let me just kind of go through this. Our pod, where our Kerbal will be. Fuel tanks, which we don't have. Engines, we have one. Like I said, we really do not have that much to start with. So once we unlock more uh, upgrades, we will be able to do a vast variety of things and really we can't we can't do anything yet except just build a very basic spacecraft so let's see if i can get these control down controls down right so we have our pod i assume we can just build off of it then ah uh, yep yep uh, that's cool nice little mini spaceship i'm aware that i need a parachute what goes up must come down so please show me a parachute this is a fin ah uh, yes the shark of the sky uh, that being said, one fin's probably not a good idea. I don't think I'm prepared to go without symmetry. So you can do this little thing down here to create symmetry for you. And as you can see, we have fins on both sides. Let's go for a four-sided fin because I'm going to be honest, we may have some problems with uh, symmetry in all directions. I think it'd just be nice to have it be balanced. Oh, and this is the science thing. I was just talking about how you're supposed to click science. And I think that's done with these containment units. Uh, these also probably need to be symmetrical. We're gonna we're gonna go with yet another four. Can I get this to snap? Toggle snaps like that. I think the fins should be snapped then in that case. Nice. Four science vessels, four fins. Still no parachute. Ah yes, our parachute. And that's gonna go out right up here to have a nice little nose for our rocket. Before we go launching this thing, though, I guess there's this thing called staging, which means we have to do things in a certain order. Crazy. We can't just launch our parachutes and our engine at the same time. Otherwise, what the fuck is the point of either of them? We're going to add another stage, and I guess we count backwards in this game. 
Instead of counting up in the American way, we will do the Kerbal way of counting from one to zero, of course. And of course, before launching off, I guess we can name our spacecraft. Uh, you know, I don't think you guys care about this, but how about this? All right, Top Comet gets to name their own spacecraft uh, for my next episode or stream because I'm not streaming this right now for those who didn't figure it out. And I'll talk more about that later, but I might as well just do that because I'm not good at naming things. I'm just going to go with Space Shark because I mentioned how the Finns make this like a shark and I feel like that's just fitting. But yeah, Top Comet gets to name the ship. Cool. Right, so let's go to launch now. So the whole game builds up to this rocket launching thing. We got our boy here. And there's a lot of stuff that might seem confusing to y'all. But I should be able to deal with this just fine. There is a throttle down here. Um, oh, I can't actually use my mouse to launch this. Or to control this. Throttle is basically the, I, I guess, the strength of the engine. As far as I can tell. Oh, so we can do this sort of stuff now. We can interact with all of our parts at this moment. We could activate the engine, we could deploy the parachute, and we can also observe our mystery goose. So this is why we attached these science vessels, so that we could, can do science. Alright, the goo does not seem to be doing much right now. No shit. But hey, we did get some science points. Alright, very cool. I, I assume we probably want to test some in the air. So, let's give this a shot. Let, what's the worst that could happen? Nice, nice. Beautiful view, actually. I do quite like how this is looking. It's straight up, straight down. Standard, really. Look at that. We can even observe our goo. Wow, we get more science at a higher height. The goo jiggles and wobbles. So this is all quite simple, and a lot of you have probably seen this sort of thing before, but we will be building bigger and better rockets as we unlock more upgrades. Don't you worry. And we'll be working with all this complicated stuff eventually. It's... Most of this stuff doesn't really matter that much right now, though. Uh, if you're confused about the setup, I think it will all make sense in time. I'm be honest, I'm pretty confused about the setup. And I just assume that it's going to get better and better. Oh, God. Hey, hey, that, 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 SAS? Hey, no, no, don't keep the experiment. SAS! Okay, let's see. Time to take things in my own hands, maybe. Uh. Oh! Shit! Shit! It is taking- this is not good. This is taking a nosedive. Um... Alright, here's how this is gonna go. What if I turn this off? Try to write it- it's- okay, it's not letting me write it. I'm just kind of- alright, shoot time. There's the shoot. Maybe that'll help. Come on, parachute. You can do it. Save my ass. <laughs> I can't turn this thing over. It really wants me to turn it over. Or stay nose down. We're just gonna hope for the best. I assume it's way too top heavy. Uh oh. Oh! It's righted! Alright, so despite my oversight that this thing could be top heavy, we did right ourselves quite nicely, and we are having a nice safe descent down to not too far from where we started. Everything seems pretty good. Let's not cut the parachute. I think I'm gonna chill with that. I did not expect to have a heart attack in my first mission. It looks so simple in the YouTube videos. Did I really just put too much stuff on there? You would think an engine would outweigh the uh, science vessels, or maybe maybe the pods heavier than I thought. Maybe there is a, a area where it describes the weight and I just didn't see. Also, we can speed this up, it seems. Uh, just so we can get more close to the ground so you don't have to watch it just sit there forever. And we should be able to touch down. We're only going six meters per second. Perfect. Hey, we completed our goal. Launch our first vessel. Nice. So we got some money, we got some science, and a gold star for trying. How do I retrieve this? I swear there was a way to be able to retrieve the rocket. Am I crazy? Recover vessel. Nice. There we go. Right, so we recovered some experiments. We got some science, 27 science points. I'll show you what that's for. Actually, you guys have seen what it's for, but I may not have described the connection. Uh, looks like our parts have been returned at 98% value. Despite that little tumble at the end, we have only lost 2% of the value on our parts. Quite excellent. And Jebediah is slowly leveling up with his XP gain. 
Good job, brother. So in R&D, I believe we should be able to use our science points to research stuff like basic rocketry. How hard can rocket science be anyway? Well, we got the resources for it. And then there's general rocketry stability. Stability. That, that's what I'm talking about. This seems pretty helpful. But then what's this? Engineering 101? Right. So we get a bunch of parts. We're going to be... We're going to be dealing with quite a bit. But I think I will do the basic ones before going to later ones. Survivability could be nice. I feel like this is a noob trap. So I'll take the bait. Because to be honest... If uh, something goes wrong, I would very much like to not have my rocket and everything completely go to shit. Let's go check out, see if we have more missions. Oh, yeah, we got a lot more missions. We completed two missions, and now, uh, like a Hydra, they've multiplied. So let's take a look at some of these, decide what I want to do, because to be honest, some of these might not be for me, at least not currently. Right, so there's a bunch of missions about taking a clue crew report, which I've got to figure out at a certain height near Bill's Stupidity. And I'm, I assume these are just other locations. I don't know how to get there or what that is. I will probably touch that in a future episode or future stream rather. But first let's, uh, let's do some of these. So these ones are pretty simple. This one just wants me to build a rocket with this new and better engine liquid fuel swivel engine uh there's another engine that i can test in another rocket sure take that for more science and also test a decoupler to allow myself to detach oh i can't accept this probably because i don't have the decoupler but that's interesting i can't accept it so that's something that i want to do eventually also escape the atmosphere apparently i cannot do can i do any of these what about what about over here no it seems like i can only do the two which is fine so let's try to get higher in the sky, get more science, and then maybe try to get some of those decouplers or just something that will let me get into the upper atmosphere. Right, so we know this is top heavy. Let's see if I can change out the engine for something that's hopefully heavier. So I assume we want a fuel tank because that comes with the engine. And I think we want another fuel tank because more fuel tanks are cool. And honestly, since we have two, why, why stop at two? Let's do three. And honestly, why even stop at three? I think four is a good amount. So now it is the perfect time to attach our liquid fuel engine. So it will take all the fuel from this, I assume. Hopefully is automatic, but I have a feeling it's not going to be. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Oh, the decoupler. Okay, I thought the game didn't want us to test the decoupler because it seems as if we have one. I would like to decouple the fuel from the pod after the fuel has been used and the engine will have no need to go up. I'd like to just decouple it so it's just the pod falling back down. Oh, I think I figured out the decoupler. Perfect. Nice. All right, so we, we're detaching these. So let's, let's also add back some fins. Let's keep the symmetry but maybe have these be lower. I assume these will want to detach. Maybe, maybe I don't need too many science vessels. Let's go for a fat two this time. Nah, 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 nah. Listen, four did not fail me the first time, and plus more science is going to get me closer to buying more cool upgrades. Uh, we have one directly on the door, which is a bit of an oversight, but it's okay. As the door moves, the science vessel will move as well, so I'm sure our buddy will be able to get up just fine. Right, so then we got to do staging. I assume this is a decoupler. So I think we want the engines to go first. Oh, it's going to say the speed at which it's going to go at 1,200 meters per second. So then we're going to decouple, and then we're going to parachute, and we should have gotten a new parachute, right? Radial mount parachute. Oh, so just more chutes. I assumed it was just going to be like this, but better. So they all can withstand 12 meters per second impact. I guess I could go for more parachutes, but honestly, that doesn't seem that necessary. I kind of regret my purchase. But it's fine. We'll be able to purchase plenty more things shortly after. Everyone has a little bit of buyer's remorse from time to time. Well, whatever's gonna happen, I'm sure it can't possibly go wrong. Let's launch it. Not gonna lie, I think we should get some sort of um, rocket tower or whatever to hold it in so it's not balancing on its engine. I, 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 I almost wonder if it's gonna have balance problems. I can't say for sure, though. So we're gonna have SAS on all the way through, just, just in case that helps at all. I, I think that's supposed to help with balancing, but I don't remember what it stands for. No, I don't wanna turn on sticky t keys, or toggle keys, or filter keys. Well, here we go. Wow, we haven't failed yet. Wait, this is incredible. So liquid fuel, uh, I assume I could turn this off. I could shut down the engine. 
if I don't want to touch this yet because I assume it's gonna pick up speed this thing is way heavier than expected though so it's having a hard time lifting off because this thing just weighs a lot more we're gonna speed this up so we can get into the air we are yeah losing maximum speed by as soon as we get higher into the atmosphere it'll be easier to accelerate I'm gonna be honest though we're running out of fuel real fast and it looks like we're about to hit max speed we're getting we're getting there okay awesome so now that I have you guys in the air with me, I want to let you guys know why I haven't been streaming this. Actually, hold up. Decouple. Bye, Felicia. I, uh, maybe we'll rise faster in the air. Uh, the only reason I didn't stream this today was because I just didn't have time. But I imagine future episodes of this will be streamed. So if I ever have any control issues or something else... Okay, we damn near killed him. He is still smiling. He's like, wow, what happened? Just a little roller coaster ride or something. Even though he just flipped over 30 times a second. Uh, we did get a new height, though. We got 20,000 meters. Pretty sick. We can see more of Kerbin, the planet we are on. But yeah, future episodes will probably be on live stream. Just want to have future time. I know for a fact I'm going to play through this game until I have unlocked all the upgrades. I just don't know if everything is going to be a YouTube video. Because I know that Kerbal Space Program 2 is supposed to come out this year. I, I don't fully know what the deal is with all that, but it's going to come out eventually. Uh, okay, that's um, that was our engine. There it is, I think. The, those are the remnants. Dude, are we going to land on top of the building? No, we're close, though. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stream it just to complete it, just so I can have an idea of the game for when the sequel does come out. It might not be successful on YouTube because I feel like people might be too scared to click on a new game that isn't bridge game. But if people do enjoy it and people want to see me get better at this, then I definitely will keep playing this. Because really, this is a game about learning. I would advise that you check out my first episode of Polybridge, not Polybridge Two, but my first episode of Polybridge to see. Oh, I forgot. I forgot something. I was talking this whole time. I forgot to do a thing. All right, we're going to begrudgedly observe the mystery goo on the ground. I would uh, suggest you watch an episode just to see how far I've come in Polybridge skill. And I would expect you to expect the same in this game. How I'm just kind of learning the ropes right now, but have the potential to learn a lot. Because I was terrible at Polybridge when I started it, as everyone should be. And this series will be about me improving slowly at this game. Right, so let's recover. That being said, I will probably be asking for advice from you guys quite a lot. As long as you guys don't give specific tips like build four uh, fuel tanks and then two engines and this sort of shit in your rocket. Just like general physics tips or general tips that this game may not directly tell you would be helpful just like indirect advice not direct advice i never like direct advice because it feels like my agency is taken away from playing this game it's like what's the point of playing bridge game if you guys say oh replace that steel with a rope replace that road with a wood or whatever uh it, it feels like i'm not playing and i want to be playing this so i would advise that any advice you give is just general and non-specific so our second flight was a better success than the first one. Besides that little tumble we took in the air, Jebediah just completely forgot about it. I think we induced amnesia. We got a rocket up to 20,000 meters. We figured out exactly what a fuel tank is, and next time we're going to go even farther. See you guys then. It'll probably be streamed. 